Hey golf fans, this is Early1981 and welcome back to PGA Tour 2K21 live here on the channel. As always, I do hope you fantastic subscribers and viewers are well and enjoying the Masters weekend. So today we are going to be checking out Reflection Ridge. This is a course designed by Alan White on the PS4. So let's take a look at the course details. As always, we're leaving everything at default. Fairways are firm, greens are normal, and green speed is medium fast. We do have four tee options. We're going to be playing from the black tees, which are playing 7,324 yards. And as always, pin set number one. Now, I've just quickly jumped on in between um, my job and watching the Masters to record this. I had a, a craving to play the PGA Tour 2K21. No practice, Ryan, not even being in the, the driving facility. So I'm not sure how this is going to go. But what a breathtaking opening hole. Let's take a closer look at this. Look at the planting. He's got the name of the course, RR, um, planted into the course. I can assume that that's a very futuristic and beautiful looking clubhouse on the left hand side. So hole number one, slight dog leg right, par four. Going to set this down the right hand side and just hope that this wind takes us over to the middle. Really good opening tee shot. Did push that slightly to the right with the swing light. But that's going to leave us nothing more than a, a lob wedge, I would assume, into these greens. 74 yards up 8 feet, so a little wedge should be perfect. Just apply and touch a backspin here. Try and use the, the contours off the green if we are long and spin this ball back towards the flag stick. Slight fast, but I'm hoping that shouldn't affect us too much. It's going to be long, but it should spin back. We've caught that backstop, and that's coming back towards the hole beautifully. Wow, that spun back about 10 to 12 feet there. So an open and look for birdie. Six footer, green speeds are 165. Just breaking left to right here, just going outside left edge of this first cup. Why well, find that hard to to get the speed of the green tier? I do use the the vibration mode, guys, but we do pick up an open and birdie. Great start to the round, and we move on to hole number two at one under par. So hole number two, par four, relatively short par four. Once again, another slight dog leg right. Just try to find the middle of the fairway here. Six mile per hour wind, it should move us. It's another push right, but the wind's going to keep us in play. Huge waterfall off there in the distance. Really, really nice. It looks like there's a, a wooden gazebo just past the green as well. Just exactly there. But 112 yards in between clubs here. Going to have to come down to the pitching wedge. Very cool detail out with the course here. So just lofting this up, applying the backspin, and see if we can fire this as close to the pin as possible. Wind should move us towards the flag stick. Five mile per hour wind on a slight uphill slope. Oh, I've got a slope. That is probably going to come up short and right now. Yeah, it is. That could well be a tricky putt. But as you can see there, my character's kitted out for winter now. Past few days, it's been relatively cold here. Temperature's going down to about 2-3 degrees. But this is a tough putt. 29 feet, down one foot. This is really going to swing hard left to right as soon as it leaves the face of the putter here. That should really start turning. Should pick up pace here as well. We didn't get that rolling up the slope high enough. But it should give us a look at par here. This is not going to be a gimme from three feet. But so far, the breaks on these greens have been very challenging to say the least. But we do walk away with the par and we are going to remain at one under. So hole number three, first off the par fives. I have noticed there's, there's very... Is there any crowd yet? I don't think I've noticed any fans um, on this course so far. By default, I do have them. Oh, that's a huge fast, but we should just have about enough fairway to work with. I did try to get that down the right-hand side of the fairway, as you can see. This is going to be a tough shot into the green now. We are probably going to have to draw this. Yeah, we are going to have to draw it. 
quite a strategic course so far. Certainly can't just uh, let your drivers rip off the tee box. Got to think about your, your landing zones here. So trying to draw this round and kick up onto the green. Need a perfect here. Fast could kill us in the water. Slow could be the bushes. Oh, we've got a minimum of slow. And with that, we are going to be in the rough. Quite a favourable kick there, though. Oh, no, we've kicked all the way into the bunker. But once again, it just shows you how punishing these slows are on the master setting. So I think we can fully deal off this and attack this with a Sam Wedge splash shot. Should come up a little bit short, but it is going to leave us an uphill pass. Oh, that didn't come out well at all. I expected that to come out a little bit better. So we've got an uphill putt for birdie. 12 feet, breaking from left to right. Would have liked this closer. Is it going to turn? Oh, it didn't turn as much as I anticipated. And we are sadly going to pick up a par here on the first of the par fives. Didn't play that one well at all. If we didn't get the slow on that approach shot, I think we would have walked away with a birdie there. But hole number four, first of the par threes, playing 143 yards up 15 feet. Seven iron should be perfect with that seven mile per hour tailwind. Just a touch of loft here. Try to land the short in the pin and see if it can release forward. There's a perfect. Maybe this, one I'll kick this has got a chance to, to run up towards the flag stick. And that's worked out very, very nicely. Slight uphill putt for birdie. 11 footer, not a lot of turn in this one. This is the easiest putt by far we've had this round so far. But good putt, good read, and we do pick up our second birdie of the round and move to two under par. So it looks like another par five come up here on the fifth hole. 535 yards. Once again, it is a dog leg. Lots of dog legs on this course so far, which I do like. First impressions are really good course. I think this is the designer's third or fourth course, guys, so it's great to... Um, feature another new designer who puts so much time clearly into his course designs on the channel so and good tee shot oh is there a gap between these trees let's have a look i think there's just a slight gap we're going to try and find here so just going to try and fade this free wood just in between that gap where the cursor is we may catch the branches but hopefully we can just kick out well, a bit of luck, maybe get near the green. Oh, we got the perfect. Oh, it's turning beautifully. There's the branches. Is it going to work its way out here? Could be bunker. Oh, wow. I tell you what, guys, the golfing gods are with us because I'll be honest, I was just looking to get that as close to the green as possible and why we've actually got a good look for eagle here. Very makeable putt from 12 feet. No movement in this at all. It's got to keep putt line straight which we do, good weight, and we're fortunate to pick up an eagle there, but fortune does favour the brave, but I really hope you enjoyed that shot there, fantastic um, fade through the tree into the green. So, hole number six, par four, once again, just going to try and use the, the fairway clearly slopes from left to right, just going to apply A touch of draw on this just to try and straighten this out and hold the left hand side of this fairway over the top of this tree. Beautiful swing. Slight push right which may help us. Should kick right. Oh, it's maybe actually not good. Oh, we have we have came back out. And it's another good tee shot. But placement on the fairway off the tee box on this course so far is crucial. You really don't want to be missing fairways on this course. But 116 yards, once again, it's going to have to be the pitch and wedge, really in between clubs here. Slight plateau green. Too far right of this pin, and it will disappear. But we've got a huge slope at our feet. Oh, it's a slope. It's probably going to come up short right and work its way off the green here, I would imagine, with that slope. It's done exactly that. So we are going to have a little chip shot, or could it be a splash? Downhill, part of me, hiccups. Let's try and use the, the top of this slope here with the eight yard chip shot. Leave ourselves an uphill putt, but I would like to get it as close to the pin as possible. 
Didn't run out as well as I'd hoped, but it is going to give us an uphill putt from seven foot, breaking a tiny bit from left to right. But we do drain that and we do walk away with a par save. So still four under. But first impressions are this is a fantastic course, really enjoying it. And it does offer a real challenge. Hole number seven, par three, 157 yards. Seven iron should be perfect here. I'm just trying to land a short the pin and let it run up towards the flag. Oh, it's a slope. And that is really going to hurt me. Could be bunker bind, depending on the kick. No, we do avoid the bunker, but we are going to have a, a splash shot here out the heavy rough, which is very, very punishing. I'll try to dunk this in. At the very least, get it as close as possible. We do get it perfect. Slight push once again, though, as you can see in my swing line. And that really moved the ball from left to right. But it's another solid par. And we do remain at four under par with two holes remaining on this front nine at Reflection Ridge. So hole number eight. Oh, it's a long par four. Once again, you've really got to think of your, your landing zone off the tee box here. We do get the perfect. I think this may kick slightly over to the right hand side. And that should give us a fantastic line of sight into this eighth green. So it's still a lot of work to do though. 208 one, 201 yards down 18 feet, 4 mile per hour wind. I'm just going to try and loft this free hybrid up a bit, use that slope. And hopefully it does feed down towards the pin. We are actually going to be a little bit long here. May work its way off the green. I think it's just held or are we on the fringe? No, it has actually held the green. So we've got a 33 foot putt. But look at the undulations in this green just past the pin. This one is turning left to right. I'm finding a struggle to, to get the green speeds here. I don't think I've played on a, a green speed 165 yet with a uh, medium firmness greens. I'm under hitting a few putts, but we do get a par save and we do remain at four under par. So, hole number nine, another long par four. Plenty of fairway to work with here. Is that tree line just going to be a hindrance? I think we should be okay, but just to be on the safe side, just applying a touch of fade here and setting this over the top of the tree. Oh, we carried it no problem, got a slight slow, but as you can see, it's not punished us too much. It's actually worked out in our favour. And that's going to give us another great look. But look at the plant in here, guys. That must be the clubhouse. It's a reverse view off the clubhouse. Same view as we had in the first tee. But wow, absolutely fantastic attention to detail there. Really cool planting as well. Very creative and colourful. So free hybrid. This should just land front of the green. Try and use that slope and feed it down towards the pin. Ah, timing's a little bit off. I can feel it in my uh, in my thumb. That slow is trying hard to make its way down towards the pin. Wind really helped us out there. Despite the slow, we are actually long and right. But we do have a 15 foot putt, down 2 inches. This one is breaking from left to right. And the green speeds are 163, sorry guys. My eyes aren't what they used to be. I've under hit that again and it was a really good read. Gonna have to try and play some of these putts a little bit more heavier. Because I am under hitting quite a few of these putts for birdies. But hole number 10. Start of the back nine. It's going to be another dog leg left. Where is the green? Green's over on the left hand side. So certainly want to be down the right hand side of this fairway. But this is a course which is uh, going to test your shot shaping. It's another push right. It's going to take us more over to the right hand side than I did anticipate or allow for. So it's going to be a longer approach shot. But once again, in between clubs, I'm maybe going to have to look at my uh, my wedges, guys. Last couple of rounds, I have been really in between approach shots, yardage-wise. So just lofting this up again. 
try to fire this right at the pin, get a bit of act. Oh, it's a huge slope. Didn't even need to look at the the time and feedback there to tell you that as a slope. And that's going to be a tough putt, probably 30 feet, 28 feet. Up one foot. Breaking from right to left. Far better weight than that. Is it going to turn? Is it going to turn? Still came up a little bit short. But it's going to leave us a simple tap in for the part. A very natural, colourful um, course, this one. It really is a beautiful, fictional course. Really impressed with the, the planting and the sculpting so far. But there's a perfect off the, the tee box. And this is going to be a monster par 5, by the way. We're never reaching this in 2. But we do find the centre of the fairway. There's another slight push off the tee box. Let's see if we can chase this driver all the way down here. Slope our feet's going to move us to the left. Just try to avoid that overhanging tree there. Got the fast. Oh, why? The slope of our feet did not move us at all. But mind you, look at my swing line there, guys. I think that was more the issue. And that has came up short and right of the green. Pitch is going to hit that tree. I wonder if a flop would stay below the tree branch here. I'm going to have to try and go for it. Anything but a slow here. I'd rather be long than short. We do get the fast. We have just clipped. Oh, wow. More than clipped the, the overhanging tree branch there. We went right into it. So like I said a good few holes back, you do not want to, to lose position on some of these holes. Fairways are imperative if you want to score well. Let's see if we can splash this one in the hole. Get the birdie. It's got a chance. Is it going to run out? No. Checked up a lot quicker than I would have liked. But we do pick up the par. So we're not playing these par fives particularly well. That's two par fives we played in two pars. Just like Rory McIlroy at the, uh, the Masters. And round three. Hole number 12. Par three. Bang on yardage this time. Not altered in this club at all. There's a perfect. So another slight push right. But the wind should be taking us around a little bit. Which it doesn't seem to have done. But that's a fantastic tee shot. And we do have an eight foot putt for birdie. This one is breaking from left to right. Don't want to overplay this. Oh, early my putting. In my uh, society round there, guys, last week, which I didn't upload because I've already covered the course um, previously, I just could not buy a putt. I was playing well. I missed at least five putts within five to six feet for birdies and just could not convert them. But hole number 15. This is a short par five for this hole. There's a perfect... Once again, waterfall off there in the distance, and this looks like it's going to be a kind of a an island green. Some of the, the views in this course are absolutely stunning. Very beautiful course. Really like the planting. It really catches your eye, the colours and the layout of this course. I think I'm, this is being aggressive. I'm sure we can just land on the light rough here, over the, the flower beds, and onto the the green, oh, it's a push right. I tell you what, that's water. That is water bound. It is. That's came up shorter than I liked. I did deal off that a touch. I think we're just pushing that right. We ran out of a uh, landing zone there. Is that going to sit? We did apply spin. And this is going to be a big putt for part. These par fives are, are really haunting me this round, but an 11 foot par, 4 par, this would actually feel like a birdie at this time. Just really struggling to get the a feel for the greens here, the speeds, that's not turning. That is not turning. Didn't miss it by much, but it is going to be our first bogey off the round, and with that we move back to 3 under par. But I've got no idea actually if this course is uh, tough. Or I'm just not playing well today at all. But hole number 14, 
tough par four. A trio of bunkers in the way here. I'm just going to try and come over the right-hand side of the bunker in the middle. There's a fast. That could well be right plumb in the bunker. Are we going to carry it? We're not. I did try to come to the right-hand side of that bunker. But it's actually refreshing to have uh, some really difficult holes off the, the tee box. Let's see if we can chase this free hybrid up onto the green. There's a great strike. Ball veered a lot more to the right than I expected it to. But fantastic recovery shot. Pin high almost. And we do have a 22 foot putt. Up 4 inches. Once again breaking aggressively from right to left. This one is for the birdie. Can we get that drop shot straight back? I think I've severely under hit that. Wow, I just cannot get a feel for these greens at all, guys. It's such a a unique green speed. I can't ever recall playing one six threes on PGA Tour 2K21, and that's missed on the low side again. That's going to be back-to-back -back bogeys. I can't actually recall um, getting back-to-back -back bogeys since the, the early days of PGA Tour 2K21. So... Let's see if we can uh, pick up some birdies here in these final few holes. 146 yards, down 16 feet. This club should be perfect. Just applying a touch aloft. Try to land this as close to the pin as possible. Oh, it's a slight fast. That's going to be long and left now. Beautiful bridge work. But really impressed with this course, guys. Like I say, I think this is the designer's maybe third, fourth, fifth course. Um, he has designed this in the PS4. Which does uh, make this course that little bit more respectable. It's far harder designing a course on consoles than what it is on the PC. That's not came from me, but speaking to designers who have done both, they much prefer designing on the PC. It's another under hit putt. We remain at two under par. Three holes to play. Let's see if we can get a few birdies here. Once again, I love the way he's incorporated the colourful plants around the trees. And it just really catches your eye. Not overdone. Just enough to make you go, wow, that is beautiful. But the clubhouse is clearly the main attraction in this course. With the waterfalls. And like I say, these beautiful colourful plants that are just dotted around the course. Really brings everything to life. Let's see if we can get this flop shot close. It's a short par four. Ah, oh, there's a fast. That's going to be long and left. It will sit down fairly quickly. But just my timing today, especially from uh, fairway to greens, has uh, cost me. Certainly not one of my better rounds, but I, I, I just got a feeling that this is quite a tough course. Ah, oh, early. My pattern. And this is exactly how I was putting in my society event. I think I finished 8, eight under, 9 under. Um, there were some fantastic scores shot though. But like I say guys, I, I really appreciate everyone watching my content. I am trying hard to get a PlayStation 5 as close to launch day as possible. But once again, just these fine little attention to details. Very creative. It really makes this course... A joy to play and look at. But look at that for a slow man. My swing timing is way off. It works out in our favour though. I certainly didn't anticipate to be as far right down the fairway there. But it's another green where we're really in between clubs. Really going to have to deal off this. A fast here is not the worst outcome. But I'm playing for the perfect. Just get a slight fast. That will help us out. We should get a huge kick here. And hopefully he settles down quickly. That would have been even better without the fast. But we'll take it. But a three foot putt for birdie. This would get us back to three under par. And let's see if we can finish strong here guys. Three under par. Let's see if we can finish for back to back birdies. And get to four under par. Final hole of Reflection Ridge. I'll certainly... Um, be reflecting my performance here, especially from fairway to greens. But this is definitely a course that's going to challenge all level of players. And on the master settings, this really is 
a beautiful challenge. Good tee shot. Ideal location here. It's really going to open up the green for us. And we'll be playing this approach shot into that beautiful clubhouse. The bridge work's been fantastic as well. Absolutely stunning. So 133 yards, 8 mile per hour wind, slight downhill slope. So just going to deal off this 9 iron and try and feed this ball down the slope. Slight fast, it's probably going to be a little bit long now because it is a downhill slope. Is it going to check up? Just running on, probably looking about a 10 foot putt for birdie, 8 feet. Not a lot of movement in this one. This would get us back to four under par. Good solid strike, good solid putt. And what an interesting round, guys. A 68 minus four, not my best round, but like I say, got no idea if the course was tough. I played poor or a bit of both. But that is it for today's video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. And until the next video, take care, peace out, and love you all. Bye.